you know how big Tommy Bahama is? They would swallow you whole. They would yeah. crush your soul. You Do man. you know how suicidal I am? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the kind of guy that'll blow up my own business just to prove a point. <laughs>I know you're a fan of Raising Cane's. I love Raising Cane's. I love Raising Cane's. Yeah. Yo, they came up out of nowhere. Even though you never eat the best part, the <laughs> bread. <laughs> oh, because I always give it to, to my girl. She loves it. So you or give me. her the best part. Oh. You give it to me too, bro. I do give it to you. <laughs> you I was talking about you. <laughs> my girl. <laughs> the best part. Everything he does is so awesome and nice. This yeah. fucking guy. Yeah, fucking <laughs> such a zany, wild, great guy. He's uh, the new enemy. I dude. hate that shit, don't you? You make us all look bad. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Cheese, cheese! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy sent the message. Yeah, everything's wild right now. Yeah, bro. Wild it's a wild guy. day. So, uh, <clears throat> Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers sues Indiana Shopping Center after being told it can't sell chicken fingers. Oh, Why? Raising Cane's told the shopping center they're not allowed? No, 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 no. Raising Cane's sued the shopping center. Sues the shopping center because the shopping center tells them you can't sell chicken fingers. Oh, so they think they have exclusivity in the region? They do have an exclusivity. So, so why would they let them fucking Ooh. open in the shop? I'll tell you the shadiness right now. Okay, tell me the detail. <laughs> so, for those of you not familiar with Raising Cane's, it is a literally chicken fingers, basically exclusive thing. It says chicken fingers in the fucking title, yeah. okay? And they're and a chain, they're every fucking way. They're right? everywhere, they're killing it. Yeah. A restaurant famously known for exclusively selling chicken fingers is suing a Northwest Indiana shopping center after being told eight months and over a million dollars in construction later that it would be prohibited from selling chicken fingers due to a long-standing undisclosed deal with McDonald's. McDonald's? They don't even, they're not even in the tent. Why do they game? got chicken fingers? McDonald's doesn't have chicken fingers. They used to have the selects. Remember the selects? Yeah. They don't have that anymore. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, and then they took it off the menu. A lawsuit filed by Raising Cane's oh. in a federal court in Texas alleges that crossings of Hobart and property owner Sch Schottenstein Property Group tricked the popular chicken finger chain into signing a 15 year lease that would equate to more than $2 million in rent Dude. while never disclosing that McDonald's held the exclusive rights to sell chicken at the shopping center located next to South Lake Mall. Dude, that's, that's, that's hell yeah, they should sue. Commercial real estate is amazing. You can lock someone in for 15 years like that and, and go, go, oops. But you kind of want you kind of want more years. Cause then um, what commercial real estate does too, is let's say you have shorter years and you become tremendously successful. Then like, let's say if, if it's less than a five year lease, then they go, oh, by the way, your rent just went yeah, up. Yeah, they just hike it up. Because they know you spent so much money on building your shit already. Yeah, you don't want to That if it's like hell, you know, they're like, all right, well, fuck it. I'm doing really well here. And they're like, okay, well, let's double the rent now. Wow. There's no rent control. Like, residents have, for them, it's like whatever. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And um, they're supposed to disclose it because, like, even in my um, shopping center, they told us that there is a coffee exclusivity that they have with one of the tenants. So we're like, oh, we have coffee products. And they're like, it has to be mixed with tea. It can't be pure coffee, oh. like all that stuff. So I'm like, I get it. If they have that contract, they have that contract. So they're supposed to tell you beforehand, though. They can't say, yeah, come on into our building. But what's stupid is that they sh this place should want Raising Cane's to open because then you have a tenant that pays rent. But not only that, a lot of shopping centers, they collect a percentage on your profit or your gross. So like if the, if the business is open, they might even make more money with your business open. So I don't get why they would do that. Well, maybe they don't want to get sued by McDonald's. That's a no. Fuck yeah. that. But that's also stupid to not disclose it. So yeah. short, yes, yeah, short-sighted. Yeah, that's a weird, that's a weird thing. And Raising Cane's as part of its push into Indiana plan to build a double drive through restaurant on the site of a former TGI it? Fridays. Can anyone, does anyone know how they track it? Track double one. drive throughs So like- Double? Yeah, you go through the drive through yeah. on one angle yeah. and then there's a drive through the other angle. And there's people getting, some people are way too polite and they hold up and they let fucking three yeah. people go. Yeah. How do they know who the I fuck? I think uh, when they're filling out the order, they'll write, uh, for example, it would be like a uh, Grey Odyssey. Yeah. Or it'd be um, like Blue Mini Cooper. Yeah. Really? Or they'll have people in the car lines, like Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A just asks your name. Right? Yeah. yeah. But they have people like, sometimes when you I, here, you here. You sometimes here. when I like look at like the POS or something like that, it'll say something like, uh, like Asian white hat. Yeah. You know really? what I mean? So yeah. that they, the, the, the internally, they understand how to like. Word. So they can or they have the little eyes, the little Asian eyes. Yeah. 
They just draw us per yeah. perfectly. Like on the Starbucks cups, they do a Chinese hat with the Asian eyes. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What? Yeah, no, we did a whole JK News about like a couple of times. They would just do like little squinty eyes on the Starbucks cup instead of their name. Wow. <laughs> Despite knowing it's that- It's funny, but it's fucked up, nah, bro. It's hella fucked up, quote, but it's fine. Quote, quote, quote. It's both. Despite knowing that the entire business model of raising Kane's chicken fingers is premised on the sale of chicken fingers, defendants specifically did not disclose the issue before the lease was executed. So it basically, like you said, why would you not disclose it? It's basically super, super either dumb or shady. Trying to lock somebody into something and then maybe expecting them not to like sue or something. It yeah. sounds more dumb because <laughs> at the, like, let's say they do this, right? And they pull it off. The, sh the consequences like this is way far greater than how much they're going to make. Ooh, and the lawsuit claims that not only did the defendants specifically tell Raising Cane's that there were no exclusivity rights mm. that would affect their restaurant. Oh, that's even worse. But that the defendants even tried to sell Raising Cane's the exclusive rights to sell deboned chicken at the shopping center, all while knowing McDonald's had already been Whoa. sold that right. Oh, they tried to double dip. Shady. That's fucked up. Okay. Mm -hmm. They tried to double dip in that Polynesian sauce, dude. This is the claim of the lawsuit, yeah. <laughs> Quote, incredibly, defendants did not tell Raising Cane's it would be unable to sell its chicken fingers at the shopping center until nearly eight months after watching Raising Cane's spend nearly a year of time and over a million dollars to develop its new oh. restaurant. Oh. That's fucked. That's pretty fucked. That's fucked. That's super fucked. Damn. They should get sued hard. In general, real estate, commercial real estate, landlords and stuff like that, that whole game is a... Is a game. Is a game. My One of my um, most wealthiest friends He's got like over a hundred mil and like just like net worth and shit. He started um, in the in that game. Like he was he was working entry level at a commercial real estate company and he's worked his way up. And like the level of like the shit that they do, I'm just like those numbers I can't even understand. Yeah, because it's like they're they own multiple shopping plazas, all that shit, and I'm like, yeah, damn you. Fucking Lowe's pay rent to you? Like, that's crazy, yeah, you know? Like, wow. like, fucking, you get Old Navy and they pay <laughs> rent? Damn, I never heard of that. Like, Target pays your rent? Like, They're long damn, contracts. You know? Yeah, that's crazy. Cause I'm just out, out here thinking about like, like a thousand bucks a month. But then you gotta deal with Lowe's you know? calling, and saying the toilet's clogged. Oh, that's the oh, worst. Exactly. <laughs> like, you're a hardware store, I'm clogging yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, the plunger aisle. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Lowe's is like, our fucking neighbors are like running all over the roof or something. Yeah. <laughs> here's, here's some extra anecdotes. According to the lawsuit, a little over a week after Raising Cane's began construction on the site of a former TGI Fridays, the crossings of Hobart sent a letter to McDonald's seeking a waiver of their exclusive rights in order for the shopping mall to secure a lease with Chipotle. McDonald's reportedly declined the request. The lawsuit states that in McDonald's letter, the Golden Arch fast food chain also reminded the property owners that the proposed Raising Cane's chicken fingers would be a violation of the terms so of the exclusive chicken rights. Yeah, so cool. they tried to do it. And the ordered fact. the property owner to, quote, immediately cease any such proposal to sell chicken, end quote. Do you, do you think the guy who owned the TGI Fridays there before is like, oh, I'm never selling chicken again in my whole fucking life. <laughs> I am a chicken, selling chicken, it broke me, it broke my brain. <laughs> <laughs> Like they, they ran him out. Yeah, dude. He got uh, fucked over. Yeah. That guy. Poor guy. He's like, fuck it. We're, we're never selling chicken here again. What, what, what do we got? Steaks? We'll sell steaks. <laughs> I wonder how gangster McDonald's contracts are. I mean, also the lawyers, they probably know they don't have to cave into anything. Yeah. But just the idea of like McDonald's isn't necessarily like no known for chicken. Yeah, of course, like we all like know them well, that, to have chicken. They, have, they, so many, have, they have so many different tactics to block prosperity of competitors. Yeah. Even if it's not even the same shit. They're just like, no, we want people to just go to McDonald's. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, because it's maybe not, not necessarily like, well, we don't, because they don't even have those strips anymore. I don't see it at the no, stores. No, they just don't but want But maybe for them, it's like, yeah, Raising Cane's is popular. We better. don't want you to eat your lunch yeah, there. Everyone's going to choose that over McDonald's. For Definitely. Sure. You know where they fucked up is... I don't really see the fucking crew anymore. I don't see McRonald. I don't see Grimace. Yeah, that's true. The hamburger. They need the crew. We need the squad. That's the, where they lost. I love the idea of all of those characters rushing into a Raising Cane's and just trashing the place. <laughs> <laughs> like they're the mob. You're not gonna sell chicken around here. <laughs> the hamburger is in there. He's like, I, 
I don't know what to steal. <laughs> 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 I've never had this problem before. He's having an existential crisis. He's like, I'm useless. He's like, what do I do? I need to call my mom. <laughs> I don't know what to steal. I, I don't want to give more information because that's way better than anything I'm going to get. <laughs> yeah, I think we're good. Uh, really? I want to know. Everyone's in the grant. You want to know? Yeah, he's Is there? Yeah. He's of the course business. you're interested in that. I'm a nerd he's in the when biz, it comes dude. to bit. Yeah, Help that's out. my This is that's like. Green legal contracts, yeah, though. Legal like, that's shit. like fucking. <laughs> Despite McDonald's strong stance, the defendant said nothing to Raising Canes. The lawsuit said instead, defendants stood on the sidelines as Raising Canes continued to incur over a million dollars in development costs. Lawsuit yeah, goes on to say that the crossings of Hobart once more tried to get McDonald's to waive the exclusive chicken rights days later, but McDonald's again strongly urged the property owners to have Raising Canes cease construction. According to the lawsuit, defendants didn't come clean about the exclusive rights until March 22. 2022, six weeks after turning the property over to Raising Cane's. So I think this is um, McDonald's, Raising Cane's having to deal with the landlord, not each other. Because yeah. that exclusive is with the landlord. So if the Raising Cane's opens up, they just open up. Yeah, and the landlord's probably like, nah, I'm, I'm sure I could talk to McDonald's and figure it yeah, out. Yeah, I think yeah. they were trying to like alleviate it along the yeah. way. It's like, nah, no, we gotta try and get the Chipotle. Oh, okay, shit, that didn't work. Uh, sure. Raising Cane's already started construction. Uh, let me try again. You know what I mean? And what would you do if you opened up your, your Junbi finally, and then Tommy Bahama across the way was like, we have the exclusive to matcha. Tommy, bye bye bye. <laughs> We're already open, bro. <laughs> That's the, what would you dude, do? Tommy, bye bye bye. <laughs> You know how big Tommy Bahama is? They would swallow you whole. They would yeah. crush your soul. Them, Do man. you know how suicidal I am? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the kind of guy that'll blow up my own business just to prove a point. <laughs> Dude, Tommy Bahama will have so many boat dads coming through your front door. <laughs> it's the guy with the boat shoes! You could be hitting him with machine guns and there's still more boat boat dads coming through, dude. Yeah, it's like fucking World War Z, dude. Yeah, dude. That would be the weirdest matcha exclusive. <laughs> like, they sell shirts. <laughs> if, I, if I were in Raising Cane shoes and like, I was already almost a mil in, <clears throat> I'd be like, I gotta open, sorry guys. There's just no way. I have to open. I'll deal with the consequences later. Hmm. Cause what are you gonna do is just say, oh, you won't let me, well, Okay, because it's one choice is you guarantee a $800,000 loss. The other one is uh, you open, you make some money, lawsuits come, and maybe at least you have income. And that you can drag you it out. You can pay it out. In a bigger yeah. level, that's what Galaxy Samsung did with against the iPhone. You gotta. Like, yeah, we're ripping off all your patents. We don't give a fuck. We're gonna build a whole other lane, bitch. We're, we'll see you in court. And they did that, and they got sued for a billion dollars, but it was so profitable for themselves, and they saved their whole business. Uh, oh, yeah. Because you want to be like, oh, well, I guess we can't, and then you fucking guaranteed lose a million. You'd rather be in a position with options than yep. just... Yeah. You can pay your lawyers. Yep. I'm gonna steal people's shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. honestly, let's do our own juby. 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 We'll do black teas. <laughs> First thing that comes to mind. Let's do, hey guys, let's hey, do our we'll, own juby. Hey, you know what? We'll sell our jubies for 40% off, bitch. <laughs> what are you gonna do?